Um, the last thing that we do that I think uh, is a really important success in our program is our Twinkle Star showcases for our babies. So we don't put our babies in our normal recycle because it's not, well the babies have a problem with it because it's a long, but the parents have a problem with it because it's too long. Or I have to go backstage or I have to leave my kid in, you know, so we created these little half hour to 45 minute shows and they, I'll tell you what, we've been doing them now for five years. They are fantastic. I recommend them highly. So what we do is I'll pair up all my classes. I'll take all the three, or three and four-year-old classes in Livermore and I think, okay, I'm gonna have two Twinkle Star showcases or three with 10 numbers in it. So then all these three and four-year-old classes are gonna do Baby Take a Bath. What's great about that is we know that dance works. Tried and true, that dance is awesome, woo -hoo! So we're gonna do Baby Take a Bath and they're all gonna wear these costumes. Then I have to pick out 900 costumes um, that would be good. So then I split them up into shows. So in a given show, it's pretty much the same dance, it's just different, different kids. So the parents drop off no more, no later than 20 minutes before. We have all of our staff back there. We're all wearing like pink things to you know, make sure the parents diffuse the parents' stress as they walk in. Um, we have parents that just sit with the kids just right before they line up to go on. Then they get to go sit out in the audience. They do their little dance. There's no dress rehearsal, no dress rehearsal. That's another stress point for, for parents. They do their dance, we escort them off, off stage into this area where they get their little medal. And then at that point, and, and I know you have questions about how do you do that with the audience, but it's a baby show, so we're not, it's okay. The parents then from that dance will get up, go outside, grab their child, and they're done. If they're number one, they can go home then. If they're number five, they'd have to wait till number five. From there, they usually bring them back in and have a seat for them, and they watch the rest of the show. We put two company dances in each show that are appropriate for a children's show. You know, so sometimes it's shocking for them when they see older kids come out because they just saw three-year-olds. So just make sure when you're doing that that it's, this is an all-around venue. Then our daddy-daughter dance is in every show. So I had 24 casts of daddy-daughters last year, different casts. So what's great about that is it keeps the people staying because their child is a daddy-daughter. So if they are, then they bring them backstage. So that's how we do our Twinkle Star showcases. We can do six in one day. And, and we can move the audience. So we have a, a theater, a smaller theater that we do. We use a smaller stage so they don't have such a big walk. Low tape and black. So that's what we do there, Twinkle Stars. The ticket prices, I believe, this last year were $12 a piece. So they are cheaper. And it's, it's um, reserved seating, but they're all $12. So I don't um, recommend general seating because people bring seating things that they put on seats and they save for their friends and then you have a brawl in the audience. So they're $12 a piece, but they still get to pick their own, choose their own seat so they know where they're sitting. Um, the next part of that question was multiple, okay. So it just depends. I mean, honestly, we, if they're in, the, we, we don't do, we don't do anything for them, we don't. And I, it, it doesn't, sometimes we'll get someone that calls and say, we have four kids in four different shows. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So then we will accommodate them that way. But for the most part, for $12, they're getting a fairly good, they're getting a good experience. They're between the Star Show, right? So um, we don't get a lot of people that do that. I mean, it, sometimes it's better for the parent because it's a separate day. So they're going, you know, that's great. We can focus on our four-year-old, and then when we get to the big show, we can focus on our five, six-year-old. Yeah, but I think anybody with multiple shows might have that problem. Um, but it's very difficult for us to, to create some sort of all-access pass because then you have to do the reserve seating and things like that. Things like that. So in order to be in the big show, because we did a different thing for the babies, in order to be in the big show, you're required to spend, let's say, $60 in tickets. Okay, some of them may, and, and the four lowest priced tickets, which may be the balcony, whatever, was $60. It could be less than that, actually. I don't remember exactly. Um, and that serves as their recital fee but they actually have to go on to eTix and buy the tickets. So it's not like we charge them that and then give them the tickets. Now, when they get on there and they want to sit in a better seat, they may spend more than $60. At that point, we don't care how many more that they buy, but they have to meet that minimum requirement of the per family, not per kid. Now, for the babies this year, new thing we did was no, no minimum. Buy as many tickets or as little tickets as you want. With the babies, what we have is the parents, the recreational parents, are um, when they see our show, they see the older kids, at the end of it, they're like, we had no idea 
you know, they may not have even taken the dance the next year because it was something they were trying. But now they had no idea what our studio was capable of and had seen our older, and it's almost advertisement, so I kind of forced them to stay. <laughs> but it would make my life, and they would be much happier with a shorter baby show, but yet I find it good for advertising. Sure, yeah, I, I hear you, because that's why I did it the way I did it for the first five years. Um, I put two company, I put, I put two dances in the show. So I bring my seniors that do a really nice lyrical, and then I have like my group with the two boys that is like an 11 to 12 year old group. So they do see that. Now they don't see that what we do like media, we have videos and things like that in our big show, they don't see that. But I feel like the number of people that, that want to see like this, the older more, or the more advanced dancing is less than the people that want a shorter experience do you know what I mean? So for us, it's been, and I hear you, and it could be that for some students. For us, there was a larger percentage of people that would be happier the way that we did it. And the kids were happier because it was, it was something they could actually do, you know? And by the time they sit down in that seat, they sit down, you know, 20 minutes before, by the time they leave, it's an hour. Parent, the dads come out and they're like, that was the best show ever. Because, you know, they sit down and they go through the, you know, oh, oh really? Oh, one page. Oh. And so they're very happy. And I mean, but I hear what you're saying. And one way to do that, and we also have a staff piece that we do, and that's in every show, too. So they do see the teachers, and they do see the daddy-daughter. So they do, they do get um, a, a smaller version of what you're going to